So I've been thinking about this one for a while now, and I want to answer the question, what is the most secure Linux distribution and why? Especially after coming into the tales of the XZ hack, this distribution wasn't even close to being affected. An amazingly secure distribution that many are based off of. That's right, Debian Linux with an overall commitment to stability, openness, and user freedom. It's one of the most respected Linux distributions. It's great for casual users, great for production environments, servers, desktops, and embedded systems. We'll learn about all of this and why I believe Debian is the most secure Linux distribution. This right here is Debian 12 installed on my system. As you can tell, very minimal, and it offers the Linux kernel 6.1. Currently, I'm using GNOME 43. And that's the default desktop environment whenever you install Debian. And to understand why Debian is secure, you need to understand the reasons to use Debian. There are a lot of reasons, but as a user, a developer, and even people who use it in enterprise environments, most people appreciate the stability. This is a capstone for Debian. We're gonna get back into this, but the smooth upgrade processes of both packages and the entire distribution. Debian is also widely used by software and hardware developers because it runs on numerous architectures and devices and offers a public bug tracker and other developer tools. So for its users, it, it offers free software, a stable and secure environment, extensive hardware support, a flexible installer, smooth upgrades, and is the base for many other Linux distributions, which can't go unnoticed as there are many different distributions, including Ubuntu. One of the most popular, if not the most popular Linux distribution is based off of Debian at its core. Also things like Linux Mint, Kali Linux, MX Linux, and even Raspbian, which you use in your Raspberry Pis, is at some fundamental level based off the Linux distribution Debian. So why do all these other distros use Debian? Well, two big reasons. Again, stability and security. And one of the reasons Debian is so secure, and I believe is the most secure, is because it has a large community and user support base. What this means is there's a large and active community of users and developers who contribute to its security. They report bugs and develop patches, which are all great things to have in order to have a very secure system. So it helps as a practice of securing Debian. They have things like IRC for real-time support chat. You can also join their mailing lists, news groups, and the bug tracking system. And two other big things that help Debian be the most secure Linux distribution is it has great security features that other distributions can't and cannot afford to have because they don't have the community that backs up Debian. Other distributions choose to use Debian just because of the active community who can contribute to Debian, which gets pushed to their own distributions. So security features is of course something important in order to maintain a secure distribution. There are security features on by default, such as security enhanced Linux, app armor, DEP, or data execution prevention that help mitigate security threats, which include things like buffer overflows, so poor memory management, and protect you against unauthorized access, making Debian a very great choice for a secure distribution. Experience has shown that security through obscurity never works. Therefore, public disclosure allows for quicker and better solutions of security problems. In that respect, this page addresses Debian status regarding various known security holes, which could potentially affect Debian operating systems, which in my mind is a great philosophy, making Debian even more secure is allowing the public and their users to understand what thriving security risks exist instead of trying to hide it behind closed doors, they give it to the public. That way you know how to prevent malicious attacks and hacks from entering your system before it gets patched. It's important to remain transparent. And how do they do this? Well, they have an entire Debian security team that is dedicated to this practice. The dedicated security team at Debian tracks active security issues in any Debian packages and provides updates and patches on the regular as soon as vulnerabilities are discovered. This makes for a timely fix of any type of security issue. Another reason it's 
set apart from many other Linux distributions because there aren't many that have a full-blown security team. This is an organization that helps you interact with public and private issues. That way you know the best approach to any kind of a security threat and you can even interact and contribute to the security tracker code yourself. This definitely sets apart Debian for many other distributions. Again, in my mind, making it one of the most secure Linux distributions out there. And this is because of their philosophy. Why do they approach such a transparent and open ecosystem? Well, that's because they have a common goal. They want to create a free operating system that's freely available to everyone. And when they use the word free, they're not talking about money. Instead, they're referring to software freedom. So at this capstone of freedom, it really fosters a secure environment because they value and respect the people using their own machines and keeping a stable environment for those users. How stable? Well, let's understand that by looking at their kernel version. Currently, they're on kernel version 6.1 here in Debian. What does that mean to us? Well, we can see that version 6.1 was released in December 11th of 2022. And it's expected projected end of life is December 2026. This is a long-term support edition of the kernel and makes for a release cycle that only happens about every two years. So when was the first Debian release made? June 17th, 96 was the official release of Buzz. Now you'll notice over here that every year or so they were updating, but as we get later in the years, we see that it's about every two years that they update their system. You'll also notice that their kernel lags typically as we are currently on version 6.1, but the latest kernel is 6.8. This means we are not at the latest and greatest or bleeding edge of kernels or packages, but this is by design. This gives Debian an advantage of making sure they can audit and secure not only their packages, but to make sure that the kernel is stable for a long time for its user. It takes stability and security very seriously. And you can tell by the kernel version that they use, they don't wanna just update you to the latest and greatest. Now, that might be a problem for some users as if you don't have the latest kernel, you could potentially be missing out on the latest hardware. Now, Debian also has you covered on this. There is a rolling release kind of bleeding edge model called SID. It's a testing environment not to be used by users, production of environments or servers, but is available for those of you. And you can see how long we get support for, including security support up until June 2026. Even though it was released years ago, we have all the way up until June 2028 for the long-term support. And one other fascinating thing that you'll find is if you haven't already noticed, there are names or code names for each release. We have Buzz, Rex, Bo, Ham, Slink, Potato, Woody, Sarge, Etch, Lenny, Squeeze, Wheezy, Jesse, Stretch, Buster, Bullseye, and currently Bookworm. If you haven't caught on yet, this is based on Toy Story and the characters from Toy Story, a film and movie, which is quite entertaining. If you knew about this, make sure to post in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And while you're on the way down there, make sure to smash that like button for me as we get into more reasons why the universal operating system that's completely free, and they even call themselves the complete free operating system, is secure. Another reason I believe Debian is so secure is because of its large package repository that is regularly updated and maintained by the Debian community, but solely because it's focused on free and open source software, it reduces the need to download packages from third parties and actually prefers you not to do this, which could often introduce a layer of unintentional security risk for users. They want you to focus on supporting the FOSS community, and it is in their philosophy to remain FOSS or free and open source. Another big distinction between this distribution and others is its true commitment and philosophy to FOSS, which translates into their packages and their repositories 
One thing you need to understand is when you have free and open source software, it's easy to check for malicious code, meaning we can make sure there is no telemetry, that there are no hacks. And this is all because of transparency. When you have transparent code, you have transparent visuals on if that code contains any malicious or unsecure code. This philosophy gives Debian another edge to being the most secure distribution in my opinion. So we've talked about their package repositories, their kernel and releases, how the community support is great. I do wanna talk about some of the security features and what I'll call a reputation for stability, reliability, and security. Of course, we mentioned that the release cycle is conservative, but this is because things are extensively tested before they're included in the stable release. Securing Debian and making sure the likelihood of vulnerabilities slipping through are next to zero. Just like the XZ hack recently happened, it was a long, long way before it made itself into the Debian stable branch, if it went undetected. But even though if it could have went undetected for quite a while, Debian wants you to understand how it secures its own environment with the securing Debian manual. You're not gonna find this for most Linux distributions. And I believe that this is another thing that sets Debian apart as the most secure Linux distribution because they focus and they have spent time on their security team and their audit team because they show you how they enforce their security through this documentation. I'll post a link in the description below because you'll be overwhelmed by the amount of information that they talk about and think about in this documentation. They talk about things like incident respondents, securing your system, hardening your system, what to do before a compromise, what to do after a compromise, how to secure various different known attack vectors, and information about permissions issues and what you should avoid on their distribution. With such a dedicated security team that actively makes documentation, an active community who also supports this documentation, trying, trying their best to remain free and open source while putting stability as a capstone of the utmost importance. This multi-layered approach allows me to say that I believe Debian is the most secure and well-maintained Linux distribution that's available. They have amazing practices, including applying regular security updates, setting you up with an environment that's secure in the first place, and then documenting and explaining everything you need to know about how they approach security. Again, try finding this in other Linux distributions. It's going to be hard, or at a minimum being behind a paywall, aka support like you would have to pay for, perhaps Red Hat Linux distributions. Overall, Debian's commitment to stability, openness, and security makes me believe it's the most secure Linux environment and distribution in the Linux ecosystem of distributions. This flexible platform helps us users and professionals who use it in things like servers, desktops, and embedded systems. Think Raspberry Pis, think cloud server environments, and think your own desktop because it can be used everywhere and is, again, a solid foundation for many other Linux distributions. Let me know if you believe there's a more secure Linux distribution in the comments section below. I'd love to hear why. This, of course, is my opinion. I'm open to hearing yours. Thanks for spending time with me today. I look forward to the development of Debian over the coming decades. Catch me in a great community in the comment section below. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.